Hey, it's Aubrey. Anything from your sister yet? No. I'm worried. She should have radioed in by now. The lockdown is likely blocking her ability to transmit. She's probably fine. So, is now a good time to ask how Ludwig knows your name? Maybe he mistook me for someone else. I'd rather not think about it. Still, he did know your name. So we must be somewhat aware of what is... Uh, Aubrey, help! I'm on it! Sit tight! Still moving, Aubrey. Stop the cart! I'm trying! I'm trying! Thanks, Aubrey. That could have gone bad. A second later, and... Yeah. So, where am I? I've got some good news and some bad news. What do you want first? Bad news first, always. Okay, well, I thought I would be able to take you all the way to your sister in the bio lamps, but that obviously won't happen. The good news is I know exactly where you need to go to get there. Also, I can provide you with this. A light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> you get it. A light at the... <sighs> anyway, just follow the tunnel until you reach the station up ahead. That sounds easy enough. I will go toward the light. Great. I'm going to fix a few things here on my end. I'll check back in a bit. See, Manny. I told you she'd get it. Go towards the light. <laughs> Aubrey, yeah, I'm at the station. Where do I go from here? You're at the tech labs. I've already rerouted power to the section you're about to enter. I took the liberty of overloading a few 
select doors to help guide you towards the bio labs. Simply go with the flow, but bear in mind that I couldn't get them all, so watch your step. Okay. Anything else I should know about this place? Well, it's probably not going to be pretty, so you know, hold your nose. Then he smelled while he was alive, but let me tell you, decomposing flesh has a poignant odor all of its own. Isn't that right, Benny? Yeah? He's like a tulip of death. That's kind of morbid. You sure you're okay, Aubrey? I'm using remembered arm as a back scratcher. Of course I'm not okay. Just continue through the tech labs. I'll be back in a bit. Ghostly visions give me the creeps. How bad do you have to screw up your time experiment for the past to become visible in the present?
Mirage triggered a quarantine that didn't manage to contain the danger. Fine, but there are too many bodies for one stab-crazy psycho. I'm still missing something. Rosie, and what the devil is that terrible noise? Uh, yeah, about that. Could you unpower this lightning machine ahead of me? Ah, okay, I see what the problem is, but... Sorry, Rose, it isn't responding to my commands. Great, so what do I do? The thing you do best, my dear, you run! Just this time, avoiding the bolts of electricity at the same time! Isn't there a way to turn this thing off from in here, then? I was getting to that. On the bottom floor, there are emergency overrides. There are two panels. You will have to enable them both. That should calm the sucker right down. I'll check back in a bit, Rosie. This noise is giving Benny a headache. <laughs> that.
Rose, please come in. Rose. Ada! Rose! Oh, thank God. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. W what happened? I've been worried sick. My transmissions were being jammed, but I found a way around it. I assume Nicola got you locked up, too. Yeah, but I got out. I'm almost at the biolabs. You're still there, right? Wait, you got out of the lockdown? How? I got help from that Aubrey guy. He's trapped, too. He saved my life, so we need to get him before we leave. I promised him. Of course, of course we will. But first, the research. They hold the keys to everything. Right. Did you manage to get the other half? No, it's in the theater. We'll pick it up together right after you get this god surgery. Of all of the places Ada. we get locked up. I'm losing your signal again. Ada! Ada. Someone has been deciphering the Edison spy code. Did Tesla know he had saboteurs on board?
reason for the quarantine? EXO, or whatever they call it? Close the door. Well, they aren't exactly subtle. Wherever exotic energy goes, they follow. Not that hard to track if you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's three times I owe you. Thanks, Harvey. So, do you know where the biologist's assistant is at? Yeah. He's in the surgery room. Am I close? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm opening all the doors I can for you to get them out. There's an observation room right above the surgery. You should be able to see her from there. Anyway, go and say hi to your sister. The path should be open. I will, Aubrey. Thank you again. <laughs> Thank you. 
experimentation, weather control, time manipulation? Is there any research they didn't do here? language. Rose! Oh my god. My big sister is here. My big sister is here. Yes, <laughs> she is. And we, dear sister, are getting out of here. Come on, how do I get to you? There's a door on your right. Short corridor, stairwell. You can't miss it. I will be right down. Uh, Ada? I didn't do anything. Ada! Get out! Get out now! I... I, I can't. Rose... I... I can't! Rose, listen to me. It's okay. Really, it's okay. You're here for me. I will love you forever for that. But I need you to do one thing. Get my research, Rose. Save it. Go to the theater and get the second notebook. Together they hold the keys to everything. You can fix this! <laughs> Promise me, Rose! Promise me! Not like this! <laughs> Promise me, Rose! No! Ada! No! I'm... I promise. <laughs> Answer me! Rose! Go away, Audrey. It's now or never, Rose. They're coming. I'm running out of doors to close. I don't care. She's gone, Aubrey. I was too late. But she's gone. I know, I know. But you made a promise, Rose. Scouts honor and everything. Promise. Come on, get up and get out. The left side door, go. the physics department. Once you've gotten me out of here... I'm not going to the engine halls, Aubrey. But... but you said... you promised. I know, Aubrey, I, I know. And I will stay true to my word. But my sister asked me to do one last thing for her. I have to do this first, Aubrey. Family first. I understand. Where do you need to go? The theater. How do I get there? Get that physics department. While I work out how to get you to the theater. I'll be right back.
the solution was. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Something is burning, though. Oh, yeah. That would be the reactor core. This is ground zero where it all began. Turns out the fire we lit just kept on burning. It's been consuming the Helios from within for days. Don't breathe the fumes. Highly inadvisable. Easier said than done. <coughs> you had a way for me to get to the theater? I do, but you're not going to like it. Come on. Hit me. <coughs> you see where all the smoke and fire is coming from? Well, we're going to walk you straight through the middle of it. <coughs> Ugh, I hate this place. It gets worse. The reactor core is shielded, so the receiver won't work once you're down there. You'll have to traverse the flames on your own. I'm going to monitor the exotic energy spread behind you, see if I can contain it. I'll talk to you on the other side. Okay. Any last minute advice? Don't burn up. <laughs> And I 
promised her I'd guard it. The entire ship recognized her brilliance. Nikola included. And now she's gone. The elevator is here, Rose. Whenever you're ready. This notebook might be hidden. It's a fairly large theater, you know. Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? Oh. That's just the lobby. Wait until you see the auditorium. I leave you to search while I resolve some issues with the weather tech devices. I'll uh, check in with you later, all right? Sure. This might take a while. I am terribly sorry that Tower Upgrades demanded my attention far longer than I anticipated. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all, sir. I'm still learning how to best get around here on the Heliums. So many floors, so much to see. Quite so, but I have saved the best for last years. The Helios Grand Theater. Shall we? By all means. This, Miss Archer, is the Helios Grand Theater. Wow. I'm glad you like it. We have a wonderful lineup of performances this year. And if you look closely, up there, that is your private balcony, from where you'll be able to watch them. The balcony used to be my own, but I insist you take it as a welcome aboard gift and as a token of my appreciation for your research. What? I don't... I don't know what to say, sir. Oh, it is the least I can do, and please, call me Nicola. Thank, Thank you. But what will people say? Won't people gossip? Me, sitting in your balcony? It's not mine, not anymore. And people will always gossip. Interestingly, come now, let me show you the view. Of course. Would you hide your research there, Ada?
wanted to see her perform. From there, it was merely a matter of building it. But enough about me. What about you, Ada? What about your family? You had a sister, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Rose. Rose Archer. And if you think I'm stubborn, wait till you meet my sister. <laughs> what does she do? She's a journalist. Is that so? Is she any good? The best. Ah, here we are. I do hope it will provide you with much joy while aboard the Helios. It's wonderful. I really cannot thank you enough. Nonsense, my dear. Just continue to pursue your theories. That will be gratitude plenty. I truly believe you are onto something revolutionary, Ada. It's just missing that final spark. I hope the Helios will provide the resources required for us to find it. Because when we do, we will have changed the world forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. Not here. Not here. Come on. There's 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 a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. Th that's it. You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun. Center stage. Holy shit. Ada, I hear you. played our conversation from the past, but it's like she's still here, leading me onwards.
All right, center stage. How do I get up there? So if I was super secret research, where would I hide?
collective suffering and today. Been. I could have used you like five minutes ago. You found the notebook, didn't you? I bet you did! Right? Right? Yes, Aubrey. I got the notebook. And then I ran into Ludwig. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, Aubrey, and thankfully Ludwig took a face full of fire, so that's one problem less. Of great news after another. What's next? The bad news? I'm lost. I, I think there's an elevator here, but I can't really tell. It's too dark. Anything yet? No, nothing. Wait! Now! Aubrey, now! Oh, that's deck 66. Next order of business, getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Thank you again for everything. I'm coming to make good on my promise. You have no idea how good that sounds. Uh, wait, let me get the doors. Oh, god damn it. What's wrong? There's... Ugh, gross. There's the body of a man... Crucified against the elevator wall. Is there a different elevator you can send up? I'd rather not. It's... it's the only one. It's the only one, Rose. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. <sighs> one leaf in. One thorn out. Thanks for doing this, Rose. Yeah. <laughs> 